what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts in the house we are here today with season 11 episode 3 of the walking dead i see a lot of people coming about to show love make sure you subscribe to the channel man it's about to go down if you are on terabyte reacts in gaming you're seeing this video because i know it ain't terabyte reacts make sure you go over and join the club over on terabyte reacts as well that is my original channel have a bunch of subscribers over there join the crew over there that's where my main stuff um is but everything going forward from here will be posted on this terabyte reacts and gaming is actually my backup channel so if you found me over there i would definitely be asking you to subscribe to the original channel as well because notifications is broken over there so nobody really sees that channel anymore youtube completely blocked my channel for some stupid reason and i don't know why the algorithm just decides you are not worthy anymore <laughs> you know hopefully the same thing doesn't happen with this backup channel because i have plans i have plans i have plans yes so last time on the walking dead season 11 episode 2 was a really good episode it ended with i feel like maggie is kind of coming around on negan a bit um i saw a lot of comments of you guys agreeing with what i was saying it was like they had more than enough time to save gage you can't there's no there's there's them maggie deciding that they shouldn't help that kid was not the right thing to do i know that if it was rick rick would have tried to figure out some they would have tried they didn't try and that's what i was in disagreement with and then you know we have you know we have our other people over here um eugene ezekiel um what's her name again is it tomiko <laughs> sometimes i get these names mixed up so much you know what i'm saying princess all them over there you know what i'm saying joining the commonwealth great things are happening for them they don't know what's going on somebody actually reminded me of the timeline that i was talking about where i was like did they leave before all of this stuff happened um you know with everything that happened over there um and somebody reminded me that they left just right before the attack so basically they don't know you know what i'm saying they they don't know exactly what took place they don't know that hilltop is gone they don't know that alexandria got attacked they don't know any of these things so um so thank you so much for reminding me of that time i, I wasn't sure about it about what how you know when they left and what they you know know versus what they don't know so thank you for that so when it comes on to um what's going on now with them going up against the reapers um i don't know how this is gonna go i'm feeling like we're gonna lose a cup a couple of these people these new people that we don't really know you know during this sequence of you know them going the reapers them being attacked these reapers are no joke they're hanging people upside down <sighs> this is some crazy stuff you know what i mean um and negan you know should we blame maggie for this because i don't think we should but at the same time you know because they need the food they need all of this stuff and they need they need to get back so what is this going to do are you know also what's also going to happen over there is eugene going to tell them about alexandria is he going are they going to tell them about their people now that they've been ingratiated into the commonwealth like are they going to say anything to them and i think this is where that old lady is if i'm not mistaken could it be that this is where the old lady, remember the old lady that came and wanted maggie to come with her and she brought the books um you know one of my favorite actresses as well you know i love to see her and stuff um i'm wondering if that's where she is or did maggie go to the place where she was when she left so many theories so many things to think about um but in any case guys we're gonna jump into episode three here hopefully you guys don't forget to hit the like button 
show your boy some love i know a lot of you guys are watching over on terabyte reacts and gaming because these episodes are released early if you want to see them um but not many people are putting out these videos and it's like they're ex you can watch them <laughs> i don't understand why people are not watching them you know what i'm saying amc plus put out the episodes early a week before they, they actually premiere on amc themselves so we're jumping in you know what i'm saying i want to see this season so i'm jumping in hopefully you guys are enjoying the reactions man last last time i had some trouble with the audio being synced out for some reason i don't know what happened so it is what it is but we're gonna truck through anyways let's jump into the reaction i will see you guys after for the review guy Yo, these Reapers! Hey. You going somewhere? We need to get our horses back. You see the Yeswa when he came in? I did. You were marked down to help today. Looks like we've got a crew already. Gone all morning. We started with Ivy. I'm sorry, Eric. I can't today. Because you're tracking horses that you have almost no hope of catching. <laughs> you know, Daryl and I went down that road before. It didn't work out so well for Plotkin's sake. We all want Saturday now. And the fields are a joke. And the walls are about to fail. Well, if we don't get those horses, we're not going to be able to move anything heavier than a sack of grain. Or go out far enough to scavenge anything anymore. These dudes know how to throw a knife, that's for sure. We are here in fall. Yo. I 
about that? Was that? Is that a flash grenade? A concussion grenade, probably. What the hell was that? Damn it, he's gone. Well, you're not seriously yeah. thinking that we keep going? He'll be back. We gotta keep moving. All right, wait. What exactly is the plan here? The plan doesn't change. We need that food. We get to the radio tower, find the supply house, and wait for the others. And what if the others are dead? Listen, I know theatrics. Those people, they just told us exactly how insane they are. We can't be on a road. We can't be on any road that they could use. It's a shit plan. Then you tell me a better one doesn't starve us all. Right? I am on your side, Meg. Then help me with him. Really? So we're just gonna go toward the screaming. Cool. Unless both of them are deaf or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think Kelly lost her hearing, I think. Horse graveyard, bruh. No. No. Hear me. Hey. We'll keep looking for the rest. They'll stay close to the water. Not if it's full of corpses, they won't. Carol, it's getting late. right we don't have to do this right now let's come back tomorrow no alexandria needed these horses yesterday carol sometimes that's all it takes a nice big hug to let somebody know it's okay. Hey. Maybe not. Ooh. 
do they need to As I said, lasso is probably is probably the worst way to try and tame a horse. <laughs> okay. I think they want to come home. You literally could, if they trust you enough. If a horse trusts you enough, you should be able to just get near them and get on top of them. They might kick you off, but for the most part. You always come for me. You pray for me. <laughs> you tried to kill my friends. Yeah. And they tried to kill me. Pray for me. Even your enemies deserve that much. I thought you were a man of God. God isn't here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you need to your plan, Maggie. You're a free man, Megan. You want to go. Go. I can help you. You know, the friends, they trusted me. You were gone for a long time. Things change. People change. No. Maybe you've got them fooled, but not me. Stop pretending you're one of us, Megan. Maybe you even believe it. You're probably as good at lying to yourself as you are to everybody else. Or maybe that's just what you're doing right now. <laughs> I told you, man. I don't like this Maggie. I don't like her at all. I <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like, just when you think. I mean, as I said, I don't want to see her die. That's I, I'm not going as far because Maggie is still one of my favorite characters in the show. But it's just stuff like this where I'm just like, yo, just get over it, man. At this point in time, at this point in time where everybody is going through stuff, I get it. Why you hate Negan so much, but you weren't there to see all the stuff that Negan has done to redeem his character. You weren't there for any of it because you you just left. Nobody knew where you were. You just left. Now you come back. You're basically the star of the show. Nah. <laughs> nah, bro. We hear about that life. This way. Come on. Now is not the time to be falling over, Alden. You better get your crap together. Let's go. Mm. Oh! Mm, come on, man. Ah. We need as many as we can have right now, man. All these new characters ain't none of them gonna be left. <laughs> hey, Carol. Can I talk? You know, sure. 
I know what you're doing, and I want you to stop. Sorry? You're giving Kelly false hope. But I don't understand. Yes, you do. You don't think Connie's alive. You just can't accept what it means if she's gone. Well, you're Connie's family. I would think you'd want to know either way. I want my family to you. All that's left of it. Kelly looks up to you. Carol, I'm sorry for whatever you're going through. But I'm asking you, I'm begging you. Whatever you're doing or telling her, stop. But we all still believe that Connie is alive, right? Like... I mean, it's been a while, so I mean, I can understand where she's coming from, but at the same time, like, it is what it is. It, it is. Like, let's just be honest about it. Like, I, I would be, I wouldn't want to, nobody knows if Connie really is alive. I think she did get out of the cave, but it's hard to tell. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we all still believe, as the audience, I would think that we all still believe Connie is alive because it, you know what I'm saying? She has to kill the horse to eat so they can eat. Ah, I know a lot of people is not going to like this episode. <laughs> they got to eat. Maybe no. I, I, all right. Like you this is what I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. Like, so you're being picky. <laughs> you're being picky. Because, as we said, we could have tried to save Gage, right? Mind you, it's not the same situation. But, you know, some people were trying to make an, make an argument in the comment section saying that, you know, they've been had it out for Gage because Gage has been a problem in the past, right? But if they're with you, they're with you now. And it's the same thing what I'm saying. Like, Alden, I know he's been around for a while. Don't get me, don't get me wrong because Alden has been around way before Gage. You know what I'm saying? He became a part of Hilltop, but he was a savior. He was with Negan and them, causing havoc. He may not have liked it, but he was doing it anyways. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, for her to be this picky about who she wants to save and who, you know what I'm saying, he's clearly slowing them down. You know, you can kind of blame him for getting Agatha, or whatever her name is, killed just now. Because they were moved. They could have ran out of that situation you know, but because he moving so slow, falling all over the place and stuff, they had to stay behind and try to take out some of the walkers, you know? So... And it's going to get worse. You being kind of picky right now. Wait. Yeah, it is. for you, isn't it? Being reckless with somebody else's life. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies anymore. It's your fault.
Well, since you want somebody to blame. Built. Negan left y'all asses a long time. Oh, my God. That is bullshit. You can't put that all on Negan because y'all captured Negan. Y'all was in a very good place when y'all captured Negan. And you left. So if you want somebody to blame, you got to take a little bit of that blame too because you left where everything was going kind of good. Come back. That's so funny that these two are going to have to work together get where they need to get to. Alright, so there it goes. Another episode of The Walking Dead. Uh, not much action, but some things we can touch on, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, let me address this first in my review so nobody gets it confused. I was just trolling... Um, with Kelly, <laughs> with Kelly and the other chick, I can never remember her name. Um, chick with the tattoos. Um, I was just trolling them because it just seems so weird. Two people speaking audible English towards each other, but they're both sign language, and it just is weird. But I know that um, Kelly, she is, she doesn't hear very well. Um, you know, so she still needs that communication. So I was just trolling when I was saying that, guys. So don't come at me in the comment section. You don't remember that Kelly got a diff? No, not <laughs> inside. But very good episode. So very, um, in some ways, you know, emotion, emotional episode. Seeing Carol, you know, them trying to catch the horses because, you know what I'm saying? They also need the horses to be able to pull stuff and stuff like that. Like pull the heavy gates and, you know, whatever they're putting up. The walls and stuff like that. They need the horses for stuff like that. But it, it was sad to see to see them having to kill one of them. Because they need to eat. They, they got to eat. And, you know, animals supposed to be eaten. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just that in today's world that we live in, people act like we're not supposed to eat animals or for, you know what I'm saying? Like they say, oh, eating animals is bad for you. Like there's so, there's so many things out there that makes people think that, you know what I'm saying? Animals are just these sacred beings on earth. And I'm going to say this for all you animal lovers out there, by all means, do what you do. I'm not telling you that's not what you're supposed to believe or whatever the situation is. For whatever reason why you chose not to eat animals, that's on you. But don't hate me because I love eating them. <laughs> that's all I'm trying to say. Don't hate me because I love eating them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, I don't eat every animal that you possibly, but if eat, I mean, if you ask me to try it, I'm going to try it. I'm just I'm just gonna be out there like that because for me is for me it's just like for survival like I've never eaten deer meat which is something I want to try you know what I'm saying I'm not saying I want to try horse meat because people try to put these stigmas on certain type of meats you know what I'm saying that you shouldn't eat these type of meats because this and that and whatever and there's somebody else around the world eating this like it's you know an everyday meal you get what I'm saying so it's just kind of weird to me where people are just like, oh, you shouldn't eat dog. But there's people in the world that eat dogs. You know, they hunt wolves and whatever, and they put them over, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, a fire, and they eat the meat. You know what I mean? Um, so in certain terms, because we have 
pedestalize animals in such a way, especially in the West, it make it really seems like you're not supposed to eat this type of meat or this type of meat. It's what I've come to realize in my travels and stuff like that, the stuff that you get to try, and sometimes you might not even know what you're eating. And it tastes good as hell. And then when you ask, what is this? Oh, it's monkey balls. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying, um, it is what it is, man. Don't come at me. You know, as I said, I would probably feel sad killing a horse to eat, but if it's for survival like that, I don't think, I don't think I would be like writhing over it in, in any kind of way, to be honest. Um, as I said, man, back home in Jamaica, I raised cows, pigs, chickens, different animals goats and i've killed them all i've killed them all i've kosher killed um you know to eat them skin them you know what i'm saying to get to the meat you know what i'm saying i've done it so when i come when i came to america and see how people act like animals are just these sacred sacred and and in some cultures some animals are don't get me wrong but the way how america americans go above and beyond when it comes on to animals man is it, it i'm not saying that animals should be abused so don't even go there because i know some of you some of you guys your minds are gonna go oh so so we should just abuse animals that's not what i'm saying i'm talking about for food here <laughs> okay not just i think people who have pets and abuse them are shitty people so let's get that straight i i i i think that so um i believe that very fully that if you have a dog or a cat or whatever and you abuse those animals while you have them as a pet you're 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 a shitty person so when it comes on to this episode and seeing what carol had to go through I completely agree. I probably would have killed one of those horses too. She had to do it. She felt some sort of way about it. You know what I'm saying? She was sad about it, no doubt. And and rightly so. But at the end of the day, we got to eat. In a situation like that, they got to eat. So, you know, it, it was just a blessing that they found more than one. You know what I'm saying? Or, or how did all the horses escape? Because of the attack on Alexandria? That's probably was it, right? So, in any case, the the episode started with, I don't even know, you know, our, our main characters are still alive, so that's good. We still, Gabriel is still alive, um, Negan is still alive, Maggie's still alive, you know what I'm saying? Alden seems like he's on his way out. Um... So it's going to be really interesting to see how they plan to go and still go and get this food. Like, how are they planning to go up against these guys? These guys are ruthless. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? Are they worse than the saviors? I don't know. I don't know yet. But seeing what they're capable of, they're very stealthy. You know what I'm saying? Hunters. They come off as hunters not necessarily up in your fence up in your face gun toting you know villains they're more of like they're more hunters but they're hunting people the way how they attack is not your typical way how you would attack they attack from the shadows you know what i'm saying and they get you so they took out a lot of people we lost a couple characters that we just got introduced so of course the Walking Dead does that all the time. They introduce new characters at the beginning of the seasons, and by like the second or third episode, they're done. They're gone. <laughs> you know? So that's very typical, very expected. Um, so in, in in some ways, you know, I expected them to be dead, but I didn't want them to be dead, even though we kind of just learned their names and everything. But it is what it is. It's what The Walking Dead does pretty much at the start of every season that they've done so that's come to expected of the script by now you guys should be used to that by now um and we're left back dwindled down to our main characters we didn't see anybody else in this episode except for um you know what was going on at 
Alexandra and what Maggie and them was going through. Um, we all know that Gabriel is, is, is a beast. He, you know what I'm saying? He only wants to pray when, when, you know, in certain situations, but for the most part, he's a savage. He's put down the Bible a long time ago. So bringing that up is just not going to save you in, <laughs> in any ways. Gabriel is like, you tried to kill my friends. You're done. <laughs> okay. So that was pretty awesome, man. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have to say about episode three of the walking, uh, walking dead season 11, man. That was a, a, a great episode. We know that we have a lot more episodes to go. I think this is also a 24 episode season. I'm not sure if it is or not, but I think it is. I think, I don't, I don't know if they're going to split it up into two parts um, for the season as well. I don't know any of that. So I think this is also going to be a full season, like a 20 episode season. So we have a long way to go. So they got to build it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I, as I said before, I think this is the last season before they go into, um, I don't know if there's going to be another season. I'm just saying that I, I, I believe that's what they said, that this is the final season of the walking dead. You know, they're not calling it that. So maybe there is another season. I don't know. You guys can let me know if it is or not. You know, um, I know that there's going to be this thing. They're going to make a couple of movies or whatever. Um, and all of that jazz. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode. I'm glad that you know, a lot of you guys have come over to watch this series with me because, you know, I don't get a ton of views and stuff like that. So when I see one of my videos doing a thousand views or more, I'm happy about that because at least I know that somebody is enjoying the content. So I really do appreciate y'all. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, man. It is a free thing to do. And don't forget to like, leave a comment as always, and I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace.